Okay, there we are. Welcome to Dell's Music Collection number three. Third one in the series of who knows how many. Um, still having trouble with the sound because my voice is projecting too much, too much loud sound and uh, also the camera. The camera's working pretty good, but it's something to do with the sound. I think I, I got to figure out a way to adjust that. And also a little bit of focusing in on the camera. Sometimes I hold a thing up and it doesn't focus like I thought it would. But um, if you can bear with that, I'll get into what um, I have today. I have some leftover stuff from the number two, um, Dell's music collection number two, that I totally forgot about. It's um, more stuff by Ray Paul, the Beatle guy of Rochester. Him and... Uh, Walt O'Brien, I call them the two Beatle guys. A couple other ones that are like that too. That they, they do a lot of Beatle covers or mix their originals with the Beatles, and kind of cool to have them around here in the, the Flower City. And um, this is the DVD that Ray Paul put out. It's uh, Performance Real Volume One. It has all of his stuff from Boston, Los Angeles, and places like that. Also, here's a single that made the charts. I believe so, in different places. Uh, if I could line it up. Some Sing, Some Dance. That's with Emmett Rhodes. We took our buddy Emmett Rhodes, who was in a couple bands from the 60s, and he did the Some Sing, Some Dance, uh, which uh, that song itself was a cover of a song by, um, I know the artist, but his, his real name is Pagliano, or Pagliero, um, he wrote the song, and they co did a cover, power pop cover of it, Some Sing, Some Dance, it's a really good song. He's got a new song out, too, that I, for the life of me, I just don't have the name of it off the top of my head, I want to wait till I get it, and then I'll show it off next time. But, um, here's another Ray Paul song, it's All You Ever Wanted, I can see if I can turn this around, All You Ever Wanted... Yeah, it doesn't come in very well. Ray Paul, there it is. It was kind of a CD single. And uh, he was also in, uh, started a band called 28F, which is based on the uh, Abbey Road <laughs> license plate that if uh, Paul McCartney lived, he would have been 28 or something like that. But here's a promo copy, I guess, of uh, some Beatles cover songs with 28F. I like that. That's pretty cool. And um, one thing with Ray Paul, he runs a company called Permanent Press. Permanent Press Records. And they re reissued, um, among other things, this Badfinger Airwaves album. I don't know if you can see that. Badfinger Airwaves. It was a, a reissue of a Badfinger album. They added extra tracks. Excellent. If you get to pick it up, I think it's still available. It's really cool. That's enough for uh, Ray Paul, and um, like I just put that with the the one before this, and you can get a full full scope on what he's doing. Um, another artist that is way in the past, probably the beginning of blues and rock and roll, is Sun House. Sun House was a Rochester resident at one time, and he's lived among other places. His recordings. It's all over the place. It's like it started in the 1930s. I think he did some stuff in the 40s. Then he took regular jobs like working on the railroads and some other jobs. They were like as a cook or something. And then, um, he, let's see, I had it in the book actually. Yeah, there's a book that has all the information that, that I use often. It's this book, Sun House. It's by the author. Richard Shade Gardner. Richard Shade Gardner. I picked this up at House of Guitars in Rochester a while back. And it talks about Sun House and his uh, his stuff. It was one of the CDs uh, that he did. It's uh, live at Oberlin College. Sun House. That was in the 1960, 1965. It did that there. So he was around in the, had a rebirth in the 60s. 
did stuff in 64, 65, and the last thing I got, well, not the last, but here's um, a good compilation. Sunhouse. Get rid of the glare. Father of the Delta Blues. It's a great album. It's got like a, one song I like on there is, is about President Kennedy. It's a really cool song by, about President Kennedy. Uh, let's see, here's Sun House, live at the Gaslight Cafe. It's a recent issue. Can't read the, my fingers in the way. Live at the Gaslight, it's got some of his songs in the back. Another one that was, came out, it's from 1969, from his house recordings, Sun House's house. It's uh, Sun House, 1969 Private Sessions. That was like probably the last thing he did. Um, I think he passed away in the, was it the late 1970s or early 80s or something. I got it written down somewhere. That's that one. And uh, recently, the guys from this band here, the Black Keys, They've been uh, reissuing some stuff. They came out with, on their record label, um, Easy Eye Sound, a Sunhouse issue. This is one that you should get, because this is kind of like a best of Sunhouse. It has everything on there. Um, at least, you know, stuff, maybe one song is like rel relatively uh, unheard. Um, Forever On My Mind, and the rest are kind of like, you know, from all different time periods, but it's newest stuff that he last did before he died. And let's see, there was something else I was going to hey, say about him. Oh, well. But it has all the information on the inside. You know, if you want to read about him. It has everything in there. Excellent musician. Sunhouse. Um, yeah, I just showed that. It had the book and everything. Um, there's a couple books written about him. There's other CDs. There's one that came out on... Uh, I have it in my best of collections, but I forgot to get it. It, it's, uh, it came out and um, had everything on there, too. You get any Sunhouse record, it's fun to listen to. It's just a lot of fun. And um, he was before Robert Johnson and Muddy Waters, which puts him way back at the <laughs> 1930s, I guess. Lastly, I wanted to show off this one item that I picked up recently. One of my favorite groups, the Bobby Fuller Four. Magic Touch. It has all the 45s that he put out on Mustang. The Mustang collection. And um, what's good about it, there's some more. It, you know, it has everything that w most collectors already have. But there's a guy in here named uh, Jay Horton. He did a 45 that he produced, um, you know, back in the time when it has the Bobby Fuller 4 back him up. Jay Horton. Uh, just like. Uh, Oh, the guy from the Rifleman, the the son, he did a couple album or a couple songs with uh, the Bobby Fuller Four as well on his first album that he came out with. I'd be damned if I can't remember anybody's name, I tell you. But um, he worked on the Rifleman's son. I mean, the guy that played the Rifleman's son. I can't think of the name, but he died recently. But he did uh, two songs with uh, Bobby Fuller, and um. That's it's about nine minutes so far. We can make it a quick one today. I hope you're enjoying these. Um, I'm still coming off like I'm, I'm nervous and uh, the sound isn't right. So just bear with me. I'll, it'll get better as we go along. Have a good day. Take care.